What's going on, everyone? So, Ankui, which means remember. And we saw this little girl, uh, one of the Ankui children, uh, approach Tabitha, kneel down in front of her, and essentially unlock the remember portion of Miranda uh, being the, or Tabitha being the reincarnated version of Miranda, Jade being the reincarnated version of Christopher. Go back many moons ago, and both Tabitha and Jade were together. Were they Tabitha and Jade? Maybe, maybe not, right? Could have been John and Mary, who knows, whatever the, the names are from back in those days. But they had a little girl, and their little girl was the girl that kneeled in front of Tabitha. And this obviously is going to cause all kinds of whirlwinds and chaos in, in several ways, right? Because one, um, Jim died, and the last thing that Tabitha said to him was that he, she needs space, right? She needs some time. Well, now she just got a bunch of time. Um, two, obviously Tabitha's dealing with a bunch of emotions and feelings and memories of Miranda and her all the past lives and then her, you know, and her daughter and, oh, Jade, right? Her and Jade were together and happy and had a child. And, you know, how does that impact their relationship? And then now Jim's dead. Now she's going to have to deal with the aftermath of Jim dying and then her children, right? And, and uh, both uh, Julie and Ethan. Well, now she also has another child that, yes, is dead, but is there, right? She can interact with. She can, may, uh, who knows if maybe now she can even talk to, right? Like there's a million ways that this can go and the approach that they could take with this. And the question that I kind of have is how does this, impact like what are the aftermath effects particularly with jade and tabitha having a child in fromville right a child that they want and tried to save in the past and they were never able to save and now they remember right it's further complicated because tabitha has children children that are alive in julie and ethan and they just lost their father and but now they technically but not really have a sister right like cuz technically it's not you know Tabitha's kid it's the version of her many many moons ago but technically it is kind of like her siblings because Tabitha is that woman and has those memories and remembers her daughter and remember like even Jade says you know we used to see them lullabies and stuff right like he remembers the child, she remembers the child. They remember their relationship, right? So now you have all this aftermath, all this chaos that is going to take place with Jim dying and then Tabitha going through her emotions and Julie having just witnessed her dad die. And now she's, you know, a story walker. And then Ethan, how is he going to be impacted, right? Like, it's a lot to unpack and unravel when you really think about it. But, like, how does this affect Tabitha with her children, right? Because obviously, yes, Julie and Ethan are Tabitha's children, but she now has these memories and this love for her daughter that she now sees, right? Like, this is something that her and Jade, they had a love in a relationship. They didn't break up because they hated each other and got divorced or whatever, right? Like, were they even in a position, like, because you got to remember, Jim and Tabitha were calling it quits or were ready to call it quits before, you know, they ended up in Frumville, right? Was that the case with Jade and, and Tabitha? Did they die trying to save their daughter, right? Like, there's still a lot that needs to unpack and unravel. But you have both Jade and Tabitha that are going to have to deal with those emotions and have to figure out and navigate those emotions, but also have to, like, console, like, the children and then have their interaction with their child that they're trying to save. Because by saving that child, in return, could potentially save the town and Tabitha's alive children, right? Children that are alive. So you have this kind of web of just family, I guess, Family, right? Like Q Vin Diesel. You have this kind of family dynamic now that's incorporated, but like they can't, they, they're what? Just going to pretend like 
the Downs people don't exist anymore. If anything, it's probably going to make them even more consumed by it. Right? Especially Jade. Because Jade, he doesn't have any children. The real question is Tabitha. Right? Like, how does... How does Tabitha kind of deal with all that is going on? And then balance, right? Trying to save the daughter that she now remembers and loves and cares for. And and the two children that she has that are alive that she loves and cares for and that are here, right? Well, now everybody's here. So it's just like... I don't know how they're... I, I'm curious to see how they're going to kind of navigate that. I'm curious to see how they're, you know, more so Tabitha. Because, like, Jade, Jade could just go full-blown father, right? Like, he could just go full-blown, you know, like, hey, you know, I'll, I'll I'll look after this daughter. I will talk to her. I will console her, right? Like, you know, and how far could it go? Like, can, can they actually, like, communicate, communicate with her? Because that could solve a lot, right? If they can't actually communicate with her and they can only see her in certain moments or certain times, then, yeah, then... You know, that's not as big as if they can, like, literally, like, have breakfast together and hug each other and, you know, have a, a bond. and a, like, Right? Like, you got to imagine that Jade and Tabitha are going to go back to her and they're going to have some conversations. Also, their relationship and their dynamic. Right? Not only do they have a daughter together in Fromville, and I know it's technically not their daughter, right? Like, I know it's not like Tabitha and Jade had that daughter, but again, they have the memories, emotions, feelings, thoughts, everything of that little girl, right? They remember, like, Jade is literally brought to tears. Tabitha can't handle the realization, right? Like, that impact, that resounding impact, they, they sense that, they can feel it, they can, they know that that's their daughter. They have the memories, right? J like, it's not just like, uh, you know, like, oh, hey, that, you know, you were reincarnated and that was your daughter. And it's like, oh, well, that, you know, I don't remember any of that. No, they literally have the memories. Jade remembers sitting there, seeing their daughter lullabies and trying to save her, trying to keep her safe, trying to protect her. And they failed and they just keep failing. Right. Like, so not only do they have that daughter, but they also have the memories of themselves being together. So do they end up, especially now that Jim's dead, do they end up starting, start to, you know, have that relationship? You know, I'm not saying that they, you know, take their vows and get married like, you know, Fatima and Ellis, but are there these emotions and, and sparks and is, do they have to kind of maybe get back together in, in a sense, right? Like, or is it something where it's just like, hey, as long as they're working together, it's fine. But is there is there any type of like standoffness uh, standoffness now because of the realization that like hey we were we were happy we were married we we had a beautiful child we had these things and it got stripped from us it got taken from us you know and you know now do they how does question is like how do the memories of the past overlap and intertwine with the memories that they have now right like because before this last episode jade and tabitha were strangers they didn't really know each other right like they they care like if jade died is tabitha gonna you know lose or something no she's you know like ah oh, it sucks i like jade right like that's pretty much the extent of it right but now it's like no, that used to, I, I lost him before. I loved him. Like, that was my husband. That was, we had a child. We had all these things, right? Like, the way she's probably going to respond to Jim, probably the way that she would respond now to Jade in a lot of ways, right? So here's to see how this plays out. And, you know, obviously they're going to continue to work together. Obviously they're going to continue to kind of build that that relationship, not in a, in a romantic sense, but in just the, you know, like, hey, we're, we're, we're in this together, right? We are, we gotta, we gotta see this through together, right? It is you and I together, especially now that you don't have Jim. Now it's really the two of them. And if they can solve this and get this out, right? Like they, they save not only Tabitha's children and Ethan and, and, um, Julie, but they also potentially save the entire town and they save the daughter that they remember 
being their daughter, right? Like that's all of that is very impactful. And it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of plays out because, you know, again, they, they have a daughter that they remember, that they had moments with and memories and shared and loved and cared for and tried to protect and failed to protect. And, you know, again, the, the list goes on and on. And there's just a lot that is going to need to be unpacked, which I'm very interested and curious to see how exactly do they kind of approach that and kind of unpack that. But um, anyway, as always, this is a discussion. And I pass question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Eddie Phil, what are your thoughts? Uh, what do you make of, you know, the Jade and Tabitha's daughter? You know, do you think that, um, you know, they're going to try to build a relationship with her? Do you think like, no, nah, it's gone. It's lost, right? Like focus on, you know, your kids that you have that are alive. And, you know, Jade, do you think Jade is the only one that really tries to do that? Um, do you think maybe Tabitha's reluctant or whatnot? Um, how do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, either way, I would love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot as we enjoy these types of videos. And I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.